What's going on guys? It's your boy T Med and I'm back with another YouTube video and this time I'm actually taking my channel and adding another layer of content in a different direction and this is the behind the scenes editing workflow that I typically go through. And so before I get into those videos to come, I'm going to talk about what software do I use? That is the magic question that I have gotten from multiple people. And so I'm just going to share with you the softwares that I've used. And so before we get into this information, go ahead, do me a favor. You already know the drill, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for me. And also, you know, make sure you subscribe for me. And I want to give a shout out right now because I've been doing videos for a while and I definitely appreciate everyone coming and watching my videos. I definitely see the growth and I finally hit 500 subscribers and if you make youtube videos you know how much of an accomplishment that is so i want to say a special shout out to you all for continuing to support my channel so a lot of people have contacted me and you know some people can't believe that the jpegs that i put into my videos are actually unedited and they are unedited um what i try to do is get things as nice as possible in camera so that i don't have to do much editing you know in post-production and so a lot of people come to me and ask what software do you use what software do you use and so i will break it down that for myself gimp and adobe lightroom those are the softwares that i use and i'm going to give you a little bit of information as to why i use either one because it could be helpful to you all now if you are just starting photography as i was a few years ago gimp was the actual editing software that i wanted to use because number one reason it was free i was not taking it too serious when i start first started getting into doing photography so i immediately went for the free software i did my google search and gimp came up as one of the free softwares and it emulated photoshop and a lot of senses um some of photoshop's techniques are a little bit more cleaner but for the most part most things you can do in photoshop you can do in gimp now i will definitely say that gimp is a little more tedious in learning the process of how to do certain functionalities or certain editing characteristics you may want to perform on a photo but in turn it does still give you great quality and again it is for free so that is the software that I use when I first started doing photography because it was free and it was the software to go to as far as learning before I actually started paying for a software. When I actually started getting more in depth with photography and started editing more and more and more, I switched over and started to learn Lightroom. And so I still go between both softwares and I'll tell you why I still use GIMP and still use Lightroom. Lightroom, of course, you know, you have to pay. So I have Lightroom Classic and I pay to use that. I think it's about $9.99 a month, something like that. But I will tell you, Lightroom is is nice so if you're a beginner photographer or you just want something free or you want to you know test out 
you know, how to maybe start messing with even editing a photo before you pay for something. Definitely, I encourage you to go to Gimp because if you do continue to evolve and you're like, hey, I want to check out Photoshop or I want to check out Lightroom, you will thank me later because as tedious as it is to edit in Gimp, when you transition to Adobe Lightroom, your life will be so much easier so if you want to just go ahead and pay then you know so have it you know your life will be easy to start off <laughs> but when I transitioned from GIMP it was so tedious to learn how to use every tool that when I went from GIMP to Lightroom oh my goodness it was so easy to edit in Lightroom that I second guessed and I was like what have I been doing? But it also made me respect the software as well. So my workflow, I mean, it definitely sped up 10 times easy as far as using, you know, maybe the heel tool or even, you know, smoothing of the skin, which I will do some videos of how I typically do it. Um, but just things as simple as that takes you know, maybe 10 more steps or something like that inside of GIMP versus I could take a brush within Lightroom and, you know, lower the texture and clarity and get a nice smooth surface of the skin. And so for me, that is very important and one of the key reasons why I switched and another key reason as to why I still use GIMP and Lightroom is because if I am doing um, more of batch processing of images, so if I have a wedding or an engagement shoot and they are in the same location, I will use Lightroom versus GIMP because in Lightroom you can take multiple photos at a time. So let's say I have five photos that a couple picked out that they want edited in the same location and if the settings and everything are pretty much the same then i can take those five photos put them into lightroom and then i can edit all of them with the same settings and copy and paste them and apply the same editing techniques to the same five uh, photos all at the same time plus or minus a few uh, skin uh, clearing up you know heel tool things like that but for the most part as far as shadows highlights and things that go at, at that nature I can do it all in one sweep whereas GIMP I will have to apply it all separately and so then you talk about you know spending more time trying to edit each photo whereas i can do it seamlessly in lightroom at like the click of a few buttons really so those are the tools that i use for myself if you use something different i know that there are a lot of softwares that you can use comment them below you know leave some feedback as to why you do use those because it definitely could be uh good information for other people that is coming here and checking out my channel. So now that we have those things out the way, you can see why you would want to use GIMP and you know maybe the hurdles that you might encounter using GIMP because like I said it is tedious, but then also, you know, when you work through that and find how tedious it is, if you transition to Lightroom, something like that, you will see how much easier it is and you will appreciate the workflow and the techniques that you have learned and transitioned to. So you got my intro, you know what I use. And so taking that piece, I will start doing the behind the scenes uh, workflow of my editing process. And so for those of you that will use GIMP, I will be uploading editing sessions with me using GIMP. And for those of you who use Lightroom, I will be using Lightroom as well and showing you my workflow in Lightroom. And so I'm excited to get 
this started this is a piece that i kind of have not really showed you all you kind of just see the product and a lot of you like i said seems as though my photos look like they are already edited so i guess that's good for me a pat on my back but again thank you all for continuously checking out my channel thank you for the support feedback comments I love it all. As long as it's constructive criticism in the comments, I'm all for it. You know, kill me in the comments, as I say. So, I'm looking forward for this. Thank you for checking out this video. And you already know, T-Med, we out. Peace.